Alright guys, so today I wanted to start a new series. It's not a very original series, but basically I wanted to use ChatGBT to help me beat the game because I know nothing about this game. Anyone can tell I, I can't play this game at all, even though I've already made like 700 videos on it, but that's besides the point. So the first thing I asked it was the best backpack color and it kind of broke, so that's a good start. Alright guys, so it's the first day in Sneaky Sasquatch and I asked the guide, it's the first day in Sneaky Sasquatch, what do I do? And it gave me seven things to do, so it's quite a bit. So the first thing he asked me to do was visit the campground office, head to the campground office to receive your camping permit and meet Ranger Dave. Alright guys, I'm almost at the ranger station, it's time to meet Ranger Dave. Hey guys, look, it's Ranger Dave. Wow, that's rude. Dude, what What, what did I... Ugh. Ranger Dave just kicked me out. Um, ChatGPT, what the hell? Anyways, let's see step number two. Number two, explore the campground. Take some time to explore the campground area, including the lake picnic and the main lodge, which I guess I did that already, so I'm going to skip that. Number three, find food. Look for food items like berries or fish to keep your hunger meter up. Now, I don't think berries are exactly in the game, so I'm just going to get fish. Alright, so something I realized is that to collect these fish, I need a fishing rod, and for a fishing rod, I need a few coins. Now, I'm going to look at the next step, which tells me to find coins, and it says by doing quests and stuff, so I'm going to do the Fox Mischief thing, and then that's going to be my quest, and I'm going to earn coins that way instead. Oh no, I almost got caught by Ranger Dave. Oh crap, oh crap. Alright, I was in the middle of doing the job, and I think Ranger Dave might save me. Um, for some reason, oh crap, oh Wait, what? Wait, what? Um, I think the game is broken. I don't think this is meant to happen. Okay, um, yeah, this isn't going as much- this isn't going how I wanted it to. Okay, so for some reason, the game bugged out on my first attempt trying to do this. I- it's never happened before. I don't know how that happened, but whatever. Alright, I'm trying this again. Let's see. And... There we go. A job well done. That's 57 coins right there. Alright, I don't think I have enough for the fishing rod yet, so I'm going to do another Fox Mischief quest real quick. So, yeah, BRB. Alright, almost there. And there we go. Another job well done. Nice. I'm just going to have this dude catch me, though, so I can get back home. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Alright, there we go. Fishing rod obtained. I'm only going to catch one fish, though, because I don't need that much food right now, so I'm just going to get, like, one fish for now, so, yeah. Yep, not, yep, yeah, pretty easy. Okay, so the next thing it asked me to do was interact with NPCs. Talk to other characters you come across. They might have quests or useful information. So the first one I'm going to talk to is probably just Raccoon, I guess, because I can. Hey, yo, Mr. Raccoon, what's up, man? What you got to say? Oh. All right, well, there's my interacting with NPCs for today. Okay, so I did the interacting now. Number six says fishing and treasure hunting. You can try fishing at the lake or participating in treasure hunts and to find valuable items. Now the treasure map thing, I guess I can do a bit of that. And then it's fishing at the lake. I guess I can do that too. Okay, so the AI asked me to find the treasure map pieces. So I'm gonna go find one right now. So if you remember a bit earlier in the video, I did find a fish and I'm gonna use it right now on this bear. So yeah. All right, there we go. Time to grab it. And nice, there we go. It also did mention I need to look for picnic baskets, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and collect this as well. But anyway, it told me a uh, fish at the lake. So I guess I'll go ahead and do that in a minute once I lose the ranger. All right, I lost him. Let's go ahead and get this minnow. And nice. I got myself a sunfish. Hell yeah. All right, so the seventh and final thing it wants me to do on my first day is get your Sasquatch license. Visit the DMV office and take the driving test to obtain your Sasquatch license. Um, kind of weird because this is the very first day in the game and you're not really, sh you, know, you shouldn't really get your driver's license on the first day, but fine, I guess. I mean, the AI knows way more than I do, right? So, All right, I'm at the DMV, I'm at the licensing station. So let me go ahead and try to get this. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot I don't have a disguise, um, hold on. Okay, so after that whole encounter, I asked it how do I get a disguise in Sneaky Sasquatch, and it said, visit the town, find the costume shop, purchase the disguise, and wear the disguise, which 
Um, I don't think chat, Mr. ChatGBT realizes this, but you can't buy them unless you've already gotten the disguise. So this is kind of awkward. Okay, so I asked it once more. This time I kind of gave up a little bit and I said, how do I get the camp for outfit? I specified a bit more and it says, speaking to the campground ranger, look for Ranger Dave at the campground office and talk to him. He'll mention a lost camper, find the lost camper, help the camper, and you get that as a reward, which um, I don't know what it is. Mr. ChatGBT keeps saying that there's a Ranger Dave, but last time I spoke to him, as you can see, I kind of got owned by him. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to cheat a little bit. I'm gonna have to give myself a disguise, even though the AI didn't technically tell me to do it, but I'm kind of out of ideas here. Okay, so I don't think I'll have time to do the DMV driver's test. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to skip that as well. So I'm just gonna do some fishing because it did tell me to do some fishing earlier, so. And there we go, another fish. I think that's enough, probably. And I've been caught. Okay. Whatever, man. Just take me. Okay, so Mr. ChatGBT never told me to get a map, so I can't teleport home because I don't have a map. So I'm just going to have to wait or get back home before I starve. So um, this is not good. All right, well, I got back, so that's good. I guess I'll eat first. You know, for a good dinner, let's have my burnt sausage. Okay, it is the next day, and I asked Mr. ChatGBT, what should I buy at Raccoon Shop and Sneaky Sasquatch? Number one, pickaxe, which obviously isn't in the game. Fishing rod, I mean, I already bought a fishing rod, so I'm going to skip that one, because like I said, I already bought one. A metal detector, um, again, that item doesn't exist in the game, but okay. Upgrade items for your backpack and inventory space, allowing you to carry more items. That is not a feature in the game, I don't know why it says that. Number five, disguises. Finally, I really need a disguise, so that's going to be really nice. Food and health items, uh, like burgers. I mean, those do exist in the game, just not at Raccoon Shop, so I don't know why it told me that. And then quest items. Alright, quick update. Um, I'm doing the cutscene right now, and I'm about to get another treasure map piece here in a minute. Just give it a sec. Yeah, there we go. So that's two out of nine treasure map pieces. Not bad. Alright, so on the second day, I did a bit of grinding, and as you can see, I have 172 coins now, so I can finally buy myself a disguise. Nice. Okay, earlier on, on the first day, Mr. ChatGBT did tell me to interact with NPCs, so let's see what Raccoon has to say now. And let's see. I think there's a duck in the RV park that might have a piece. So, I'm gonna do that map piece first, um, the RV one, because ChatGBT, like I said, it told me to interact with NPCs as much as I can, so that's what I'm doing. So, yeah. So I asked Mr. ChatGBT, how do I obtain the treasure map piece at the RV park in Sneaky Sasquatch? And here's how I respond. Step number one, visit the RP RV park. And yeah, pretty obvious. Number two, look for the treasure map, which yeah, again, pretty obvious. Number three, interact, collect it, which I mean, okay, I guess. Number four, check your backpack. So it's not really helpful information, but whatever. All right, guys, I am here and I'm about to take this map piece or hat. And there we go, easy enough. In fact, it looks like the hat I'm wearing right now. Nice. All right, sir, here you go. And nice, there we go. There is our third treasure map piece out of the nine we need. So we're one third of the way there. Let's go. I really wanted the map, so I asked Chat, Mr. ChatGBT, what cheap items should I get in Sneaky Sasquatch? It said number one, snacks, um, which you can get for free by stealing it, but whatever. Number two, the basic fishing rod, which I'm gonna say this again, I already have the fishing rod. Number three, a basic disguise, which I also have. And then balloons for some reason. I don't know why. That's kind of weird. And then regular map pieces. If you've been collecting treasure map pieces, regular map pieces are usually cheaper than the rare ones, which, you know, that's not how it works. But you know what? It's close enough, so I'm going to go ahead and buy it. All right, I am back at the Sasquatch house, the raccoon shop. I'm going to go ahead and get this map now. Also, of course, I'm going to follow the rule. It always says to interact with NPCs, so I'm going to go ahead and ask it what my next thing I should get is. And it says the cave. All right, so the next one I'm gonna get is the cave one. I think this is gonna be the last piece I get before I end the video. So yeah, I'm gonna do this one real quick. All right, so I asked Mr. ChatGBT, how do I get the treasure map piece found in the cave in Zingy Sasquatch? And it told me, visit the cave, explore the cave, interact to collect, and then check my backpack. So I guess I'll do that. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, um, if you liked and subbed, that'd be pretty cool. No pressure though, but yeah. 
But anyway, I'm getting close to the, uh, the caves, so that's nice. Alright, I have arrived. Let's explore. Oh, I don't have a flashlight. I kind of forgot I need a flashlight for this. Um, ChatGPT did not ask me to buy a flashlight. Um, I'll be back. Alright, so I'm facing a new problem. I have no money, so I'm asking Mr. ChatGPT, what is a good early game way to make money in Stinky Sasquatch? And here's what it told me. Obtain a fishing rod, fish at the lake, catch fish, sell the fish. So I guess I'll do that to him. I'll catch a bunch of fishes and I'll sell it to fisherman and bear. And yeah, that's how I'll make my money from now on. It did specify to do it at the lake. So yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and do that. So let's just catch some fish here. Okay guys, I did some fishing and I'm about to sell my fish to Mr. Fisherman. All right, let's go. I also have to take the fishing guide. Let me go ahead and do that. All right, let's go. Let's see, how much can I get from this? 175, all right, that'll do. All right, so I'm no longer a broke little baby. I can actually afford this now. The flashlight, yeah, I know what the flashlight does. Let me go ahead and buy it. All right, so now I can finally go in the cave, finally. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, I have finally made it to the cave and like the guide says, I just gotta explore, that's all I gotta do. All right, look at that. Look, I found some dynamite, let's go. Of course, the next reasonable thing to do is ask Mr. ChatGPT, how do I use the dynamite in Stinky Sasquatch? And here's how it responded. Number one, obtain the dynamite, which I did do that. Equip the dynamite, which it automatically does that anyway, but thanks for saying that, I guess. Find a suitable spot, look for rocks or boulders that would, you'd wanna put it in, which I guess is close enough to what you're supposed to do, and then use the dynamite. So, you know, pretty solid advice. It says how to do it. And then at the end it says, be cautious while using dynamite as it can cause significant destruction and may attract attention from other characters or authorities, even though the cave is uh, pretty isolated if you ask me, but okay. You know what, whatever. We don't question our lord and savior chat GBT because they're always right. They've never been wrong once, so let's just do this. Alright, well I hope doing this doesn't cause any noise because I don't want to attract attention of the other characters, you know. Because you know how in this game there's other characters in this cave that can like kill you, I guess, or something. Yeah, I don't want to attract the attention. Anyway, let's see. And boom, there we go. That wasn't so hard. And look at that, we got another treasure map piece. Let's go. Only five more to go. Not bad. All right, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, if you like this video, make sure to like, just as a way of showing that you enjoy this series, because I do want to do a part two to this. It's just taking a while to make. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the other side.